The number one comment on my channel is this. You might have thought it would be about going vegan or living in Berlin or something about money or minimalism, but no. The thing most people want to ask me about after watching my videos are my eyebrows or my non-existent eyebrows to be precise. Because yeah, it's not that they're just pale or blonde, I actually shave them off every morning with David's razor. Why do I do this? Let me take you back to how it all started. When we were living in London, like seven years ago, I decided to go platinum blonde. And right at that time, it was a huge trend with bleached eyebrows too. So I started bleaching the brows whenever I was doing my hair. Then after bleaching them a few times, I read the warning sign on the package. It said that if you use the product to bleach your brows, you might go blind. So bleaching was now out of the question, of course. Easier to just shave them off, I thought. They're not visible anyway. Said and done, I tried it and I loved it. I still love it. My face feels more like myself without eyebrows. I can't even count the times I get comments making fun of me saying something like, she's so minimalist, she doesn't even have eyebrows. Although it's meant as a joke, these commenters are kind of unintentionally correct. My aesthetic is minimal and I do think that my face looks cleaner this way. Back when I first shaved them off and people asked me about it, I said that it was because I wanted my face to have as few contrasts as possible, making my favorite features like my eyes and my lips stand out more in my face. So I totally get that most people don't find this look attractive. Some of you really seem to like it, some of you really seem to dislike it, but I love it. I might grow them out again one day, but I haven't once regretted going face bald. So after getting probably thousands of comments on my brows by now, I thought it about time to address this. As you know, I'm totally fascinated by style and how to use your appearance as a way of expressing who we are, no matter if who we are happen to be a bit weird or unattractive in other people's eyes. Life's too short and exciting to care about what other people think of your look and about how to fit in. If you look in the mirror and you think you look beautiful wearing that outfit, then that's the outfit you should go with. Your style is your own and not everyone will get it just like not everyone will get you. And that's fine. Feeling comfortable in our own skin is something we should value and really prioritize in my opinion. And it might be a bit scary the first time we walk out the door wearing something unusual or with our hair dyed in a new color. We might think that everyone's staring at us or laughing behind our backs. But let's think about this. How often do we really care all that much about what other people on the street are wearing? Back in the day, I used to look quite out there and still most people didn't care at all. It was a great experience because it gave me so much more confidence and made me relax about myself. Of course, sometimes people do stare at us or left behind our backs no matter what we are wearing or how we behave, but who cares? It's not the end of the world. Take it from me, people make fun of me every single day and I'm still okay. More than okay, most of the time I feel kind of great about myself. What do you think? Are you uncomfortable in your own skin or do you already feel 100% like yourself? Are you often scared what other people might think of your look or lifestyle? And is social media making it better or worse? I'm really eager to hear what you have to say and like always, I'm sending tons of good mojo your way. Ooh, and did you see that our morning show, The Mustards, is back after the summer break? Go check out our new videos. Hello! So I, I like slow down and I jog up to it and I like start walking and then I, when I'm just like a meter away from it, I like hunch down and I'm about to pet it on the back. I'm like, hey kitty, and I'm like almost about to touch it and it turns around and it's a bat.